But you have a few people hired by the opposition, you know, and they want to disrespect the PPP. Well, if you disrespect the PPP or you mess with the PPP, then I come after you. I don't care who you are. I'm coming after you. Instance, this happened in last December now. Um, during this Christmas time, Amerindian Affairs Ministry toy drive and all of that, that's when the encounters happened. And this individual has a dark side and does not belong in government. We all have our dark sides. We all have our, um, have our, have our vices. Oh, that's why we need a stronger opposition. We need a stronger opposition to pursue these things. They should have, this thing should have been dealt with over a year ago. Opposition is so weak and it's now on their own us to pursue this matter. Uh, apparently the, the girl took some lawyers and and was willing to press charges, file criminal charges. However, however, I was told that one of our lawyers squealed to the ministers, a couple of female ministers who called the girl in with an education officer and arranged a meeting with, with the, the minister in question. And then he offered the girl's family, went down on knees and so on, I was told, and paid them $10, $10 million. That's what I was told. I sacrifice a lot to go undercover. You don't know what is happening. You don't know what we're doing to make sure we get to the bottom of who the extortionists are and the propagandists of the PNC. When it becomes like that, okay. no, you can't be, be in government anymore. You have to relinquish your position and because you're gonna be traveling the country, you're going to be interacting with people, girl, children, and maybe boy children too, because he seemed to have a penchant for backdoor Santa Claus. But... Hello, how are you? All right. Hurry up, when you live? Yeah, 
This is a party, give out about party from there. More than one party. Talk to Ramaj. Nice to meet you with all the cattle farmers. So, you want this land developed here? Yeah, this land is here. And one of the things. We have children of here. 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 Michael. 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 Michael, they said the cow is replacing the chair and them too, right? You can't get up, you can't have that, right? Yeah, Mr. Scott. You see it? Now, this is an interesting play for President Ali because we've seen this president in particular do his best to maintain a particular public image and to be seen out in public doing presidential duties in the company of embattled minister Dharam Lal is something that kind of sullied his public image just a little bit if not a lot because of the past happenings with the minister but does the president even care about that should he even care about that Given that this is an election year, should they be considering the fact that these things right here might be taken away from the public image of the president that can, in time, create less votes? And that's not something that I could see them ever really wanting to be. So we got to ask ourselves, what is the embattled minister Dharam Lal doing out and about with the president as he goes about during the day doing presidential duties is this a normal thing and as we look at this situation too right remember a few days ago in parliament one of the ministers caused a big uproar when he stood and he said that the minister will be returning to the house and a lot of persons stood up and blah, blah, blah. And a lot of persons had things to say. Is this the steps towards Dharam Lal returning to parliament? And what do you think about this? Do you think it's time for him to return to parliament? Do you think that the president should not even be out and about right now with Dharam Lal, given that he was one of the very ones that was calling for him to step down from his position just a while ago? what are your perspectives about this because this situation is international this is not local this is not guyana alone people all over the world are talking about this what do guyanese think what do persons in guyana think about this what do persons in the diaspora persons that are from guyana all over the world what are your perspectives about this very important matter that's going on in Guyana right now. Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. So if the Irfan Ali government wants to keep this person on and have this baggage, um, that's on them. But it's, I, I read the statement, that of the, the girl's statement, it's very disturbing. Um, uh, now we've had this discussion about a year ago the same discussion here and he said that he's not going to tolerate such in his government and that the person should make a police report well I, I apparently the, the girl took some lawyers and, and was willing to press charges file criminal charges however however I was told that one of our lawyers squealed to the ministers, a couple of female ministers who called the girl in with an education officer and arranged a meeting with, with the, the minister in question. And then he offered the girl's family, went down on knees and so on, I was told, and paid them $10, $10 million. That's what I was told. So now the matter is hanging now. We don't know where it's going to go unless the, this, this opposition, that's why we need a stronger opposition. We need a stronger opposition to pursue these things. They should have, this thing should have been dealt with over a year ago. Opposition is so weak and it's now on their onus to pursue this matter and to seek justice and to prevent these instances. This is a new instance. This happened in last December now. 
um, during this Christmas time, I'm arranging affairs ministry toy drive and all of that. That's when the encounters happened. And this individual has a dark side and does not belong in government. We all have our dark sides. We all have our um, have our have our vices with, uh, uh, with us about us and. But we should not hold government, we should not hold an esteemed office when um, we have these inclinations to want to have such uh, relationships with people and young people and all of that, scandals. Um, this is coming from me living here in the diaspora. That's just my thought. I'm not for any party, mind you. Um, but it really disturbed me last year when another person reached out to me and said that they were one of his victims. And then now this girl here, a year, about a year later, I spoke to a minister, a, a minister last year about it and they knew who I was talking about without even saying it. Uh, people in the party knows what kind of person he is, yes. This person is, right? People in the party know. Um, but I, I, I'm saying again, this person does not belong in the, the uh, in, in the realms of government. They should be removed. They should step aside um, because uh, their vice will allow them to do it again. Um, the integrity of the government is at stake. I know the Irfan Ali administration does not want this on their head for 2025. They don't want to deal with this head on. So uh, they might find some ways to... Um, deal with it underhandedly and um, amicably with the girl's family. Um, things are like that's the way it went with the well, based on what I was told. But guys, um, if I see any one of you post selfies with this individual when he comes to New York or even in Guyana, I think I'm gonna block you all because I can't tolerate this kind of nonsense, this kind of behavior from government officials. As I said, we're all human beings, right? We all have our needs. We all have our, um, we, we're, we're sexual humans. We all have our sexual needs and wants and desires. Um, sometimes it takes a turn for the worse with, and becomes very dark, as I believe this individual is. Um, and it becomes a, a, an addiction, a vice. And um, so uh, it's, uh, when it becomes like that, Okay, no, you me. can't be in, be in government anymore. You have to relinquish your position. And because you're going to be traveling the country, you're going to be interacting with people, girl, children, and maybe boy children too, because he seems to have a penchant for backdoor Santa Claus. But uh, the, they need to bell the cat. The opposition needs to be stronger. And I am so disappointed. I have no faith at all in this opposition from the leader down. Um, so that taken it I'm a very neutral person I call it as it is the opposition is weak but the government has to do something as well with this individual um, I, I hope and pray that his colleagues talk some sense into him um, you cannot do this and be and hold government and hold power you cannot I'm not sure that's just gonna happen this time around again it's gonna be swept again under he's gonna continue in the position more is gonna happen and the opposition in its weakness will not now these allegations are being made by a member of the public that's close to the situation now i know that you heard those things none of those things are presidential none of those things says president of the biggest growing economy in the world. None of those things says head a state of the largest growing, fastest growing economy. None of those things says prosperity moving forward. None of those things say one Guyana. Because if you have persons taking advantage of your so-called indigenous people, then one must really consider who else stands to be taken advantage of because if these are the persons that are still operating within the confines of the upper echelons of the government then 
What is society to see? Is society to look around and think that these things are all right? Should we now look at this and say, well, okay, since this is going on in the parliament or since this is going on in the allegedly, since this is going on in the government and in places of high esteem in the government, then maybe it's okay in society in general. These is the type of conversations that be playing around in the heads of persons in society, in the younger folks especially, that's looking at this situation all over social media, all over the world. What are we to consider? Sometimes you can hear the conversation from everybody else, but when you hear from the person themselves, when you hear the conversation from the person and you hear their apology, Maybe you consider the situation in a different way. Maybe you look at the matter completely opposite from the perspectives you had before. Or you really get to see the person for who they are. Now let's hear directly from the embattled minister. Let's hear directly from the honorable minister. Let's hear directly from his mouth. Just some perspectives of his personality and just who he might be and how he feels about the entire situation. Afternoon. I was making mockery of someone. I don't think that's a good thing actually because as a baptized Christian I should not be making mockery of people. So, I would like to seek the forgiveness of God. Because I know He's a merciful God. <clears throat> and a faithful God. That for all the people that I mocked, including Rhonda Bob, I am profoundly sorry. But I just want to say that They have some so people on social media that operate from the PNC. And I'm a private citizen. I don't know why they are after me. Why are they after me? Because I just live in life as a private citizen in Guyana, in a country that the party I support since childhood, my family supported, and they're still supporting. The president who I support wholeheartedly, the vice president and leader of our party, Dr. Barjak, who I support wholeheartedly. But they have a few people hired by the opposition, you know, and they want to disrespect the PPP. Well, if you disrespect the PPP, or you mess with the PPP, then I'm coming after you. I don't care who you are. I'm coming after you. And I always win. Always. Always. And I will go after them until they're destroyed. So, by the way, I'm not wearing any filters. I'm not wearing any makeup, just for clarity and just for the edification of... There, there's some people who troll me all day, like around the Bob. I don't even know who that person is, you know. And, you know like, I remember a few years ago, they sent me a message and then they tried to add me and I didn't um, accept their request for a, a friend that. And then, um, then I see they pump presenting themselves on social media, seeking attention. Then there are some others, one that we call Smelly Smell. Then they have some other profiles developed by <coughs> some of the, like the, in the PNC, there is their media arm, including social media. 
that arm is run by some guys who are not sure of their sexuality. And you know who they are. There are three notorious ones in the parliament. Anyway, so I just want to say, if you mess with the PPP, you will mess with Nigel Darmlow. Everybody knows that. And I'm on this life to tell all of you who wants to mess with the PPP, stay in your lane because you don't have what it takes because I'm going to come after you. So, for example, I was, I saw this lady, um, Rhonda Bob, you know, I, I, I getting kicks off of her, you know, like all the time getting kicks off of her. <laughs> She's taking on all the time, you know what I mean? Um, but I just want to tell her, just chill out. I sacrificed a lot to get to the bottom of who the trolls are. I sacrifice a lot to go undercover. You don't know what is happening. You don't know what we're doing to make sure we get to the bottom of who the extortionists are and the propagandists of the PNC. And if you intend to disrespect the PPP, then you're gonna face the consequences. And so, just like how I have found all of the information, I have a treasure trove of information on Smelly Smell. Address, date of birth, where they work, how much money they collected, all their conversations, all their profiles. You would be amazed, right? So if they want to play big and bad, I am the wrong man to mess with, all right? So my dear um, Rhonda, I know, well, I've been doing some research on you, and apparently you come from a very squalid environment. If you don't know what squalid means, in Barbies we say squalid. Squalid means rundown, you know, dilapidated, uh, a very broken area. And I suspect that that is why your toes are like jaguar toes. Like, you know, you're from a dinosaur era. All right, and you can't filter those. You can't filter your toes, you could filter your face. And so, and by the way, I think I'm older than you as well. You know, look at, look at how I look. Without filter, compared to you. Verb, well-crafted sea moss gummies. Nutritious, delicious superfoods. What's your favorite flavor?